maximum amount. What it does is it gives law enforcement a perspective of who's purchasing it in large quantities for illegal purposes. Sell, sell, and consumption in the black market. That being said, there are individuals, in this case, Mr. Worley, who purchases large amounts of ammunition on a weekly basis, because he's a gun enthusiast. And I'm respectful of that. So I would assume, I'll speak on behalf of Ms. Skinner, that she's respectful of that too. That's what you like to do. In this measure, there's nothing that I read that will prohibit him from purchasing 4,000 rounds on a weekly basis to go to the shooting range and shoot. What it does is in a place like Richmond, what it does like in a place like Oakland or Los Angeles, if there are individuals purchasing large quantities and perhaps they don't fit a certain profile. Now, I will use the word profile because I'm using my words very carefully. In Los Angeles, a profile of an individual who purchases large quantities, according to a RAND Institute, is a white male over the age of 50. That is the profile. If you have a young woman who is in her mid-20s or late 20s who's purchasing large quantities on a weekly basis quite consistently, good detective work says, hmm, this is quite interesting because it doesn't fit the pattern that we've seen historically. Therefore, let's scratch the surface a little deeper and let's see where this leads us to. Is the large purchase of quantity, or is this a straw buyer? Are they going out to the black market where they're selling it in the streets in Oakland, in Richmond, and elsewhere?